this is what I was waiting for. Hopefully, <laughs> this is what I was waiting for in the mail. This is going to be pretty cool. Alright, I hope, yep it is, it is exactly what I thought it was. It is a Hyperflow ducted fan system. Now, what the heck am I going to do with this? <clears throat> um, it's smaller than I thought. Oh, here's the motor. Now, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it's, it's going to be enough. But we'll give it a we'll give it a whirl. Oh, it's some assembly required. Uh, I hope this is going to do what I think it's going to do. What this is for is it is going to go on a Pinewood Derby car. Now, you saw me build a Pinewood Derby car for my, oh well, I saw my son building a Pinewood Derby car that I was helping him with. This is his car. Well, the adults get a, what they call an outlaw class car that we can run just for fun. And <clears throat> several years, I've, I've made some crazy contraptions. And here is my latest creation. I ran this last year, and obviously uh, <laughs> it did pretty well. It's got, a, uh, it's got four 9-volt cells, and this is a, um, this is a pressure switch. It's a micro switch, but it, it's set up to where when the gate drops, uh, it makes contact and turns this on. Now, uh, I'm running these in parallel, but uh, it's a little heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, um, I'm going to make it a lot lighter, and I'm going to have run this ducted fan on it. So you saw when I opened the package for this thing, it's a ducted fan. Uh, I went out and I got uh, the right battery for it. And <laughs> this will actually fly a plane. So I'm going to retrofit this bad boy and uh, strip it down, get rid of all these batteries, make a, um, make a hole for, for this battery mount this something like that and uh, keep this uh, I got a different pressure switch uh, whereas before this is going to rest up against the starting gate actually now I've got a different pressure switch it's actually a little bit higher rated uh, this is a 5 amp switch so I'm gonna mount this sideways on the front of the car and this is going to rest up against the starting post and then uh, I'm gonna have a secondary switch to disarm the battery uh, before it gets put on the put on the starting gate. So I'm mean, gonna hate to do it, but I gotta take this thing apart and and retrofit it and cut it out and all that. So stick around. Uh, I'm gonna try to f film a little bit of uh, time lapse in here so you guys can see the progression of. The well, here goes. So what I got so far, I made a wiring diagram, and um, this is the battery right here, and the negative is going to go to the motor and go to the switch from the motor in out to the switch, and then I'm going to split the positive side, the red lead. Red lead's going to go to the middle terminal and split off and go to the pressure uh, to the pressure switch in the front of the car, and then go back in to the positive side. So, uh, what's going to happen is when it's off, there's going to be no power. So even if the pressure switch activates, the car won't go. And when it's on, it's going to be armed 
and the pressure switch when the pressure switch releases it's going to make the motor go uh, what I also did oh I found out that my old pressure switch the uh, the little fixture I had holding the old pressure switch fits the new pressure switch real nice so I don't have to redesign that so that was kind of a relief and what I did was I took this off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the engine right to the battery to save weight now it's kind of backwards when you have a powered car is you want the the car to be as light as possible uh, even though I'm going to go with gravity uh, so the weight will help me uh, I want also the the motor to to push as much as possible too so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to mount it uh, I'm probably going to use some electrical tape after get it all wired up and then electrical tape this I'm also going to have a tail cone that's why I needed to move the motor forward so the tail cone doesn't extend too far off now this is definitely an illegal what they call a uh, outlaw car in the outlaw car class but it's just something fun for the dads to do and the kids get a kick out of uh, seeing some crazy stuff so onward and upward okay I got the motor wired up got my switch wired up here's the car uh, you can see it I uh, put a fresh coat of black gloss paint on it and when the paint dries I'll be ready to assemble it and give it a whirl. Okay, she's ready to run. All I have to do is uh, close the switch, arm it here, and let it go. I have no idea how it's going to run, so this is a test run. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's armed. Man, I probably should put something. I don't even know if it's going to flip over or not. All right, let's see, three, two, one. Well, that wasn't good. All right, apparently I had the wrong shaft in there, uh, wrong bushing, so I put uh, the right bushing in there. Long story, but here she goes. All right. <sighs> Numero due. Ready, set, go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, did even uh, even did a little 360 there. So, yeah, buddy, let's see that one more time.
we go. It'll work. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I want to go ahead and post this video, but uh, yeah, uh, be looking for the actual race to come. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>